we are looking at a question on forecasting specifically we have got those three questions below as we look at this table up here the monthly sales for Mansa batteries limited in 2017 as follows so have we seen this for 2017 as follows forecast january 2018 sales using each of the following let us understand that uh, forecast january 2018 sales using each of the following so these are 2017 figures you are going into what 20 2018 so they've said one use the naive method how do you solve this equation using the naive method well one thing about the naive method is this what was seen in the previous month is what will be forecast for the next what do i mean so what we're going to do is this i was saying that naive method is that what is seen in the previous month becomes the forecast for the next month take for example december to december showing 23 so what would be Jan january if december is 23 meaning january will equally be 23 that's how the naive method works what is seen in the previous month becomes the focus for the next month kind of works like that that's a naive method so you would say for the january 2018 sales according to the naive method would be that it would be equally 23 because that's what was seen in just the previous month december number two a move a three month moving average how do we solve this other one three month moving average let us do the needful and let me demonstrate on the next screen we are looking at three month moving average going to january what do they mean meaning to find for january just go three months backwards so that we can pick a three months that would be leading to january if you get what i mean look at october november and december the next month is obviously January 2018, where we are heading to. So this is what they mean by three months. Huh? You just pick three months, just three steps backward, backwards huh? in terms of months. So you pick October, November, December, the three months that are just before January. That's how the moving average is being done. By taking each of their sales individually, these were their sales figures each, sum them up. That's how three months moving average is. When I just, when I just tell you moving average, I'm just going to use the simple moving average technique, which is summing up all the sales. 20 plus 21 plus 23. Over at the total number of months being used, which is 3. The answer here is 64 over 3. 21.33 as the forecast for January sales. So that's how we forecast using uh, moving average. The next question I'm sure you've seen is now, a six month moving average how do you forecast for this month of january when you look at six months huh? six months leading to january same story just you know you're on january just pick some six months before that that will be july which had uh, 17 august 18 september which had 20 october 21 november 20 sorry i hope i've swapped something here even this one is supposed to be 20. then this one is 21 december 23. these are the six months leading to january because we're now using a six month uh, moving average let's just see before we even understand this because they said it's a moving average but just be careful in questions what if they've said weights using weights so let's just go back to the questions that we're sure yes it's six months but is it for using weights and they like want to know that so as you can see part three a six month weighted average using those weights uh -huh. so yes it's a moving average but the moving average is using weights so you have to get to know which one you're using so they are equally just simple they're not difficult even though you're using weights they're just techniques just follow what they've told you here they've said that how do you assign the weights because weights what you just know about the weights is that these are the things that we multiply against the, the sales figures for example if you have 0 0.1 as a weight multiply it against maybe a sales figure of 20 that's what we mean so here they've given instructions of how you're going to assign the 
weights. If you check, they've told us that with the heaviest weights applied to the most recent months. So you've got those six. Which one is the most recent? According to when you're at January, which one is the most recent? That's what they mean by that statement. So meaning December becomes the most recent. And in that sequence until you reach July, which is the 60th month, according to your analysis of the six months that you're using. So you just assign the biggest weights to the most recent, which is December, and you start decreasing in that manner. Yeah, so let's do that according to this question. So you start with December having 23. Of course, then your weights are supposed to be multiplied, as I said. Huh? But we are attaching the largest weights to the most recent, as I said, and which is December, which is 23. Plus, you are adding 21 was the next most recent month, November. The second largest weight, 0 0.2. Again, it was now October 20. The second largest weight, it's still 0 0.2. You're adding plus you're yeah, now at September, it was also 20. Second largest, okay, it's now 0 0.1. You're yeah, now in, in August to 18.1. You're yeah, now in July 17.1. Add up everything. Sorry, mo yeah, multiply and add up. The answer you get is the forecast. That's how you solve questions on with weights. Because okay, the logic is that when you sum up everything. You divide by the summation of the weights but weights always add up to one that should be known so that's why i'm just telling you when you just multiply add the answer you get is the forecast yeah that's just the trick behind this so according to the weights 20.6 is the forecast for january 2018 using a six month weighted moving average the last part of the equation is asking for exponential smoothing using an a smoothing constant of 0 0.3 and a September forecast of 18. So, you know, while it, we're going to January, we are forecasting for January, that's what I was trying to say. But they've given you a forecast for September, which is some, let's say, some three months away or four months away from January. But in order to forecast for January, you needed at least to know the forecasts for December because there's a formula that we use when we're using exponential forecasting. That requires you to know the forecast of the previous month, and that's December. If you're looking at January, that's December. So find first December's forecasts. So that will be a sequence we'll start doing in this video. Until we find December's forecast, then finally it will lead us to what we are looking for, which is January 2018. So in order to forecast using the exponential forecasting method, you need to use this formula above. But take note, they've given you September forecast. But what forecast do we need in order to to be able to find the sales in January 2018, it should be the December forecast that can lead us to the next month. That's usually how this formula works. So they've given us September 18 because they know, okay, we'll use a certain sequence using the same formula to lead us to the December forecast. And once we get December forecast, now we can easily move on to the January forecast. That's how we we'll do it. So since September has been given, our next step is to find what? October, October forecast. How do you apply the knowledge into this formula? Well, the FT minus 1 stands for the previous month's forecast. So if we are going to October, what's the previous month? 18, which is September's forecast. Okay, you put plus that figure, that symbol that you're seeing there, it stands for the smoothing constant, the one outside the brackets, which is 0 0.3. The A stands for actual forecast. What was the actual forecast in the previous month? That's what you're looking at, huh? the previous month's actual forecast. It was 20 as of September because remember we're trying to gather September's knowledge as we move on to where September's what the details in September okay I beg your pardon on that one the details in September and forecast for the next month which is October so the actual forecast in September was 20 so remember the actual one you're picking is from this same previous month which is leading you to the next one minus it's a repeat again it has repeated the previous month's forecast, 18. When you solve this, it gives you 18.6. That's the forecast for October. Same thing we move. October has been found. It can now lead us to, September, uh, to November. Let's do that. Now that we know the formula, we'll just now be putting the figures. So always we start with the previous month's forecast. Always the previous month's forecast is the one we start with open brackets oh sorry plus the smoothing constant 
open brackets begin with the actual forecast always in the brackets you begin with the actual forecast with the actual forecast in october remember we always start with this month we are using to forecast for the next so in this case we are using october to forecast for november so what's the actual forecast in, in october it's 20 minus 18.6 as the previous month's forecasts as of we are going to november so what's the previous it becomes october which is 18.6 the one we just found apply the computation here what else are we getting i'm getting 19.02 november forecast december forecast we now know november's forecast 19.02 we can easily find november december now the next month in the same formula so same formula as we stated always start with the previous month's forecast so now we are forecasting for december the question is just which one are you forecasting for then you can easily remove we're trying to find out the forecast in december now previous month is now at november which is 19.02 plus smoothing constant the same one open brackets actual constant in which month this same month you are using to focus for the next which is november we are using to focus for december so what was the actual focus in november 21 minus previous month the same november being referred to then you just put in the, the details and you find that it's giving you 19.6 19.61 yeah 19.61 i've just left the last decimal it was four but we just to round off to two decimals also yeah then we can now forecast for january as the question is asking us because we needed to know december because that's how the exponential moves huh? you need to know the previous month's forecast to do the next one because if you look at the formula how it's formulated it needs to know the previous month and we didn't know december now we know we can easily now find january so we can move on how do you find january we have the previous month now being december that's how the formula starts previous month forecast plus smoothing open brackets the actual in that month in the month that is helping to forecast for the next so we are using now december to help us forecast for january what is the actual 23 what is in the table is what would go actual if maybe you've been lost all the, all the while throughout this video that we have been stating that point minus 19 uh the previous month's focus which is still december here 19.61 what answer are we getting for the next month being january so here you find that okay when you subtract 23 minus 19.61 that gives you that 3 point something you multiply with the smoothing constant and then you add the 19.61 january shows that it should be 20.6 as the forecast for january 2018 using exponential so that's how you apply the knowledge so i hope the concept has been gotten and there's the different methods that have been used in this video